Hi, this is Miss Paula. I'm going to read you a story today, but I'm going to go over on this side so you can see the pictures. Okay, let's get started. This is a book by Dr. Seuss, and it's called What Was I Scared Of? Well, I was walking in the night, and I saw nothing scary, and I have never been afraid of anything. Not very. Then I was deep within the woods when suddenly I spied them. I saw a pair of pale green pants with nobody inside them. I wasn't scared, but yet I stopped. What could those pants be there for? What could a pair of pants at night be standing in the air for? And then they moved those empty pants. They kind of started jumping. And then my heart, I must admit, it kind of started thumping. So I, I got out. I got out fast, as fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared. But pants like that, I don't care for. No, sir. After that, a week went by. Then one dark night in Greenwich, I had to do an errand there and fetch some Greenwich spinach. I started, when I had fetched the spinach, I started back through town. When those pants raced round a corner and they almost knocked me down. I lost my Greenwich spinach, but I didn't even care. I ran for home, believe me, I had really had a scare. Now bicycles were not made for pale green pants to ride them. Especially spooky girl green pa pale green pants with nobody inside them. And the next night I went fishing for doubt trout on Roover River. When those pants came rowing toward me, I started to shiver. And by now I was so frightened that I'll tell you, but I hate to. I screamed. And I rode away, and I lost my hook and line and bait, too. I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my britches, but I stayed there anyway. I stayed all night, the next night, too. I'd be there still, no doubt, but I had to do an errand. So the next night, I went out. I had to do an errand. I had to pick a peck of snide in a dark and gloomy snide field. That was almost nine miles wide. I said, I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said, and I said, and I said those words. I said them, but I lied them. Then I reached inside a snide bush. And the next thing that I know, I felt my hand touch someone, and I'll bet that you know who. And there I was, caught in the snide, and in that dreadful place, those spooky empty pants and I were standing face to face. I yelled for help, I screamed, I shrieked, I howled, I yelled, and I cried. Oh, save me from those pale green pants with nobody inside. <clears throat> But then a strange thing happened with those pants. They began to cry. They began to tremble. They were just as scared as I. I never heard such whimpering, and I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were to me. I put my arm around their waist and sat right down beside them. I calmed them down, those poor empty pants with nobody inside them. <clears throat> And now we meet quite often, those empty pants and I. We never shake or tremble. We both smile and we say, hi, hi. The end. I hope you liked that story. I enjoy it a lot too. Bye, see you next time.